Robin Shepard, and here are the top 10 sports moments from the past 10 years at Trinity. In 2011, Trinity Men's Soccer posted one of their best seasons in program history, pulling off a 2-1 overtime win in the snow in front of a boisterous home crowd in the NESCAC tournament opener versus Connecticut College. The band's postseason run went to the second round of the NCAA championship tournament. In 2015, women's ice hockey started their year with just one win in four games, before stringing off 17 wins over the next 22 games, including back-to-back -back overtime victories in the NESCAC championship to secure their first league title in program history and advance to the NCAA Division III National Tournament. Despite its long-standing reputation as a perennial powerhouse in the NESCA, Trinity Men's Basketball captured the elusive league title in 2008 for the first time in program history. The Bantams returned to the NESCA championship in 2015 and completed their strong season with a run to the NCAA Division III National Tournament Elite Eight. One of the most revered programs in Division III, Trinity Football held the longest home winning streak in seasons, 13, and second longest in consecutive wins, 53, spanning from 2001 to 2014. Along the way, Trinity has seemed to master the art of perfect seasons, highlighted by a flawless 2012 that was capped by a last second comeback victory versus Wesleyan to clinch the coveted NESCAC title. In 2008, Trinity women's rowing went undefeated and followed that up in 2014 with its first ever national championship. Trinity came back with another standout year in 2015 by edging Bates by 3.21 seconds to take gold in the varsity eight race for the fourth time in the last 11 years. In 2013, Trinity Women's Squash lost a heartbreaker to Harvard University in the championship game, 5-4. A year later, Trinity re-established their dominance by topping Harvard with a dramatic 5-4 win of their own for their first national championship since winning back-to-back -back titles in 2002 and 2003. In 2014, Trinity Men's Hockey was invited to play on the ice at Frozen Fenway versus Williams but lost the game despite a third period lead. A year later, the Bantams won when it mattered most, securing their first national championship. Following its remarkable season, Trinity was invited back to Fenway Park to throw out the first pitch. In 2012, Trinity Women's Lacrosse handed Salisbury its first loss of the season as the Bantams secured their first ever national championship, an 8-7 thriller. Salisbury scored all seven of their goals in the second half, but the Bantams held the Seagulls at bay, and the upset win cemented Trinity as one of the premier Division III programs in the country. Trinity has now appeared in four straight national championship games. In 2006, Gustav Dieter pulled off the unlikeliest of victories over Princeton's three-time national singles champion to keep Trinity men's squashes unimaginable winning streak alive. Down two matches and losing the third, Dieter got hot and rattled off three straight dramatic wins backed by plenty of bantam spirit. Trinity Squash has since gone on to become one of sport's premier dynasties as the Bantams set a mark of 252 straight wins and won 15 national championships along the way, including a stretch of 13 in a row. And the number one top sports moment of the past 10 years is... In 2008, Trinity Baseball went an astounding 44-0 and was one win away from a perfect season before falling to Johns Hopkins 4-3. Despite the shock, Trinity bounced back that same day in the two-game elimination tournament to win the national championship on a 5-4 walk-off, 12-pitch at bat by defensive replacement Guy Gagliatino to cap one of the most remarkable seasons in sports history at any level, finishing their year 45 and one. And Trinity wins the national championship for the first time with two runs in the bottom of the ninth.
They win 5-4. They don't get the perfect season, but they get the championship trophy. Yeah. Yeah.